Hello everyone, it is me, Rachel Cross, and I am bringing you Art from the Heart, where every art creation we make is with a point and a purpose. I am really excited to introduce you today to our activity, and it is called um, Journey Butterflies, or the Butterfly's Journey. So with that, um, what is a journey, right? What, what is a journey? A journey is the action of going from one place to another. And we are all on a journey. Life is a journey. We may go on a journey just from home to the store. But in the bigger picture, our whole life is a journey. And that's what I want to talk about today is what, what has our journey looked like? What, what goes into that? What have we experienced? And we're going to have the opportunity to express that through making these butterflies. So I'm going to share um, on the supplies and go over different types of butterflies that you can make. And remember, any way that you choose to create your butterfly is the right way. There is never a wrong way to do art from the heart. So um, this is a, and I'm also going to walk you through the process, right, of making one. I'll make one sample. So this is a butterfly just on white paper. That's what we're going to use. It's just white paper. It's actually cardstock, the thicker paper. And this one um, is made by a student, and they chose to show they go together let me get this one too their transformation of their journey so this particular student who was in elementary school um they had a rough start and life was kind of hard so they chose to represent that using these colors and on their next one they wanted to make two they actually used the brighter colors because where they were at the time they were much happier and it was much better and so that's how they wanted to represent their journey. They didn't want to use any words. They just wanted to use colors, and that's okay. This one was a little bit more fun, a little bit messy, but when you're doing art and it's a little messy, you know you're having a lot of fun. So this one is kind of similar to the other one. And with this one, there is a layer of colors of crayons underneath the puffy paint. So the darker colors underneath represented the uh, feelings and thoughts of the beginning of the journey. And then the brighter colors on top represented where they were today and or even where they wanted to go. So I'm actually going to demonstrate this process right here. It's really, really fun because we're going to fold it together and the paint's going to stick and then we're going to open it up. And then I'd like to share with you um, another one. This is actually done on colored paper already. And this one can actually hang. And on this one, on the back, there are many, many things written on here. And I'm going to share a little bit. This is actually mine. And I created this uh, just recently. And I had a huge reflection of my journey. I had no idea until I did this project that I have moved 19 times in 20 years. And for the last five years, I've actually been in the same spot for the first five years in a very, very long time. And to me, just realizing that was absolutely amazing. I had no idea that it had been that way, but I was also able to reflect on how cool is it that now I've been living in the same place for five years, right? And so just a lot of different things. So there are some questions um, that we can ask ourselves when creating this, even if we choose not to write it down. And I have the questions, but we can think of things like, where have I lived? How many siblings do I have? Um, have I lost anyone that is important to me, special to me? It could even be a pet, or even right now with the places we can't even go. Where did we used to journey to? Where would we like to go in the future? What do we want in our future journey? All of these things can be written, they can be thought of in color, they can be drawn. Any way that you are able to create this will be the perfect way. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show, oh, let me do the supplies, I didn't do that. So this one is um, oil pastels or crayons, very similar. And then I also have Sharpies, I have regular acrylic paint, you can use tempera paint, I have even um, some pipe cleaners, very inexpensive supplies. I do have some scissors and I have puffy paint. And this is what I'm going to use um, today to show you on the creation. And I have some yarn that I used for the string and I just attached that with tape on, on the back. So very simple, very easy, really low grade mess um, uh, without using the paint if that's what we're looking to do. 
and I have the tape. And of course, um, I'm going to just use the white paper today. So with that, we're going to grab a piece of paper and we're going to fold it, okay? And we're going to draw an outline of a butterfly. It does not have to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. So just the best butterfly that you can do. It's almost kind of like a heart, but one side is a little bit smaller than the other. So with that, we're going to cut it out. And remember to cut on the open side, not on the crease side. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to demonstrate that really, really quick. We're going to cut this out. And we're going to make sure we keep the folded side folded. And remember, there's no wrong way. There's so many different ways a butterfly can look. You can get really, really creative with this process. So then with that, we will open it up. Oh, look, there we go. We have the butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and just put down some colors in crayon. I'm going to just do the colored one today. And I'm going to use some darker colors. Because I'm going to let this just go ahead and represent. Oh my gosh, all those times I had to move. No wonder I had such hard times with things sometimes. So if anyone else out there has moved a lot, I understand. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just do that. And I'm using black because I'm like, ooh, I'm not too happy about having to move all those times. But now, and even if now, say, your situation, your journey, you're stuck. You're like, no, my situation is still the same. I'm still feeling black. It has not changed yet. That is okay. Our journey hasn't moved on yet. So what we can do is still hope and dream for the future of our journey. It's going to get better. It will. One day it will. If it's not today, it will. Even when we get older, if we're young, when we get older, we will be able to choose and make choices that's going to help it get better. So I'm going to go ahead and use this puffy paint. Puffy paint is super, super cool. Um, I think it's also called like fabric paint. So it dries with a texture. It's really fun. What I'm doing is just spreading all of this puffy paint over the butterfly. You can even do it on one side. You can make designs, shapes. You can write words, however you would like to do that. And then I'm going to take it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to just kind of rub it down. Now, if you put a lot of paint, oops, see, I got a little bit on the table, or puffy paint, it will um, go through. So you might want to lay something down. I did not. I got a little bit on the table. And then what is really cool is you open it up. And there we go. And we got a really cool looking butterfly. Now, before um, you do this process or after when it dries, if you choose to use paint and you would like to write things on the back, you definitely can. If you want to do more than one, of course, that is always encouraged. And um, you can also, after it dries or if you don't use paint, and whenever you're done, you can attach a string to it, like this one, so that if you want, it can, it can hang. And you can make several, especially right now. How cool would that be to have them all hanging in your house? So I think that would be super fun, super cool. And so that is what I have for us today. I would love for you to share your creations with us on Instagram at hashtag Operation Stay Connected. And I hope you enjoy this project.